Good morning, my name is Mrs. Hoy. Welcome to Short Pump Middle School. This is my seventh grade algebra class, and today we will be doing a graphing review and doing some fun activities to help review. So first we're gonna start with this number sense routine. You guys remember a couple weeks ago we did a quick image, so I'm gonna, re I'm gonna remove this box for three seconds. You have three seconds to look at the image, write down anything you remember about it, Okay, it's gonna be a line. And then I'm gonna put the image back over it. And then I'm gonna give you one more opportunity to look at it again. Okay, after that, we'll see if we can figure out, we'll collaborate and figure out other information. Okay, so everybody watching, because the three seconds goes by fast. Okay, here we go. All right, go ahead and write down anything you notice about the graph. Maybe think about some things that you're gonna look for next time. more specifics, okay? Y'all ready to see it again? Yeah. Okay. All right, here we go. Did you get some more details? Yeah. All right, go ahead and collaborate with your table. See if you can come up with an equation. Maybe someone got something you missed. Did I give you guys the Skittles? <laughs> 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 The first quadrant, yes. First quadrant. All right, did any of the tables come up with an equation? Were you able to get that specific? Did anyone come up with the y-intercept? Lizy, what's the y-intercept? The y-intercept was four. Did, does, do other people have that written down? Yeah. So, so far we know the equation is y equals blank x plus four. Yeah. So did anyone have a guess on the slope? Was it positive or negative? Negative. 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 Luke? Uh, negative two-fifths. Negative two-fifths. So maybe y equals negative two-fifths x plus four. Should we reveal it and count? Okay, I know the grid was a little um, difficult to count the slope. So I, everybody agree that the y-intercept is four? Yeah. Okay, so Lizy got that. And then we go down two, right five, Luke got it. So our equation is y equals negative two-fifths x plus four. Okay, good collaboration there. Okay, before we get into learning some new content, we're going to do this activity with the Skittles at your table and the graphs. So what I need you to do is grab one bag of Skittles and then the graphing worksheet. There's plenty. Yeah, you can, you can clear your desks other than that worksheet. You don't have to. All right, you can go ahead and open up. What do you think the skittles are going to be on our graph? They're going to be points. They're going to be the points, yeah. So you can go ahead and open them up. 
put them on your clean piece of paper. All right, so last time, remember what we learned about horizontal and vertical lines? Okay, what's the way that we remember the equations? Yes, Skanda. Hoy Vux. Yes, how lucky you are that your teacher's name is Mrs. Hoy, right? So we know that the Hoy part of Hoy Vux um, tells us that a horizontal line has a zero slope. The equation is y equals a number. So that's going to help us right here. So I want you to use your Skittles and graph y equals 6 on your paper. Okay, so use maybe four. You have seven each, but use four or five of them. Or all seven, up to you. Does your graph look like this? Yep. We've got a horizontal line at y equals 6 right here. Good job. Okay, for this next one, I want to play a little game. Do I have a volunteer to come up and be in the hot seat? Yes, you come up. You're very brave. Yes. I like your shirt. Okay, so what we, you're not facing the board, so don't turn your head. We are going to give him clues to the next equation. So I want you guys to raise your hand, okay? And here's some examples of um, clues that we might give, okay? We might say the slope is positive. We might say one point of the, on the line is 0, 7. We might say the y-intercept is blank. We might tell them the rise and the run, okay? So we're going to go ahead and give some clues and see if he can guess the equation. Okay, anyone want to give a clue? Yes, Scott, go the ahead. The slope is negative. The slope is, look at the equation. From the x value? Look at, okay, the x value is negative. Think about Hoivux. So, so far we have the x value is negative. Isabel? The x value is an odd number. The x value is an odd number. What can we tell them about the slope? Think about Hoy Vux. Yep, Martin? The rise is zero. The rise is zero. I think you're thinking the run is zero. Think about Vux, Izzy? The slope is undefined. So those are two good clues. The slope is undefined. The x value is negative and odd. Anyone want to give them? Wait, if the slope is negative, then how come it's undefined? The slope isn't negative. Okay. He, was, he gave you misinformation. The x value is negative. So we know from Hoivux, what do you know the equation is going to be? The previous one was y equals a number, right? Yeah. So, so this one is going to be x equals, x equals a number. Now we need to tell them the number. Go ahead. Oh, do I just tell them the number? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So uh, the x is negative 3. So the x is negative 3. Uh-oh, skittle down. So what's the equation? x equals negative. Yeah, you got it. So what's the, what's the line going to look like? Um, it's going to be in the, I'm pretty sure it's going to be in the second and third quadrant. Yep, and it's going to be vertical, right? Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and graph it. Use your Skittles to graph, you can go back to your seat, thank you. Use your Skittles to graph x equals, what is it, negative 3? Okay, so I see some vertical lines at negative three. Good work. Beautiful. Remember, it only takes two points to graph a line, but the more points we draw, the more accurate our line is going to be when we go to draw it using our pencils. 
Okay, now let's do one. So both of those were horizontal and vertical using Hoivux. Now let's use y equals mx plus b like we did on the number sense routine and plot one of these. We'll, we'll do another hot seat here in a second. But let's go ahead and do y equals x plus 3. See if you can graph that. y equals x plus 3. So you know your y-intercept and your slope. So where do I put my first point? Yes, Paxton. Yep, on the y-axis, the y-intercept is positive 3. Remember, y equals mx plus b, so b is 3. And then I have to use the slope to plot more points. What's the slope? Emily? Oh, 1. Slope is 1, so that means my rise is 1 and my run is 1. So from here, I rise 1 and I run 1. So does your graph look like this? Yes. 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 Nice. OK, any questions so far? All right, do we have a, our next um, equation is another y equals mx plus b. Does, do I have a volunteer for, to try to come guess? Thank you, Lou. We'll give you some good clues. Okay, so um, why don't we, instead of giving him We'll give him a couple clues first, but then if he doesn't get it, because it, we have to be kind of specific, then we will describe exactly how we're going to graph it. Okay, so don't look at the board. Okay, does anyone want to give a clue about the slope or the intercept or anything in general? Martin. The y-intercept is two. The y-intercept is two, okay. You can, t you can talk it out right now and tell me what you know so far. What's okay, so uh, B is 2. Good. So, so far you know that it's Y equals blank X plus 2. Lizy? The, the rise is negative 2. Paxton? The run is 5. The run is 5. They just gave it to you. Good clues, guys. So, it would, it would be Y equals negative 2 times. Yay, good job, Luke, thank you. All right, why don't you guys go graph that? Your, the 2 tells us the y-intercept. And then the, because you weren't here last time, right? Yeah. So the slope is negative 2 fifths. So from here, go down 2 and then write 5 and then plot another point there. Oh, you had it. Yeah. And then sometimes when it's off the graph, instead of going down and right, you could also go, go up and left. So you could put another point up here, go up to left 5. All right, I'm seeing some good graphs here. Okay, and remember the strategy that we used last time with the zombies when the lines, the lines were going off the graph and we couldn't go down? Okay, we kind of had to use the same strategy here, right? So my first point that I plotted was 2. And then the negative 2 fifths tells us to go down 2 and write 5. Okay, and then I think if you go down to right five again, it's off your graph, right? So instead of going down and right, you could also go up and left. Yeah, you got it. So up to left five. Draw your line. If we weren't using Skittles, draw a line. Arrows at the end, right? Okay, I think I've got one or two more. One more, and then I've got a challenge question that's gonna lead us into today's lesson. 
Okay, so go ahead and graph this one. Good, so the y-intercept is seven. And then my slope is negative five. How can we write that as a fraction? Yep, negative five over one. So I'm gonna go down five and write one. Down five, write one again to draw my third. Is that what your Skittles look like? Perfect. Okay, now I'm gonna throw a little curveball at you for this last one. Okay, let me show you. Ooh, what's different about this? Lizzie, what's different? The x, is, the x is with the y, right? Is it in slope-intercept form? No, so what we're gonna learn today is how to write it in slope-intercept form. Remember back in our second unit when we did literal equations? You guys have already learned this in unit two. When we isolated like examples like area equals length times width times height, remember that? And I said solve for W. You guys already learned this. How could I solve for Y here? You don't have to write it down, just tell me. How do I get rid of that 3X? Izzy? Yes, subtract 3X from each side. So I'm gonna do minus, I need to move my graph a little bit. So I'm gonna do minus 3x on each side. And then slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b. So my x term comes first. So instead of writing negative four minus 3x, I'm gonna write negative 3x minus four. Now you know how to graph that, right? Okay, go ahead and graph that with your Skittles. So it's just one extra step. We have to write it in slope-intercept form first. Good job. So what did I plot first? Negative four first. And then my slope was negative three, so did I go down and right? Down three, right one. But then that might be off your graph, right? So you could also go up three, left one. Draw your line. Yes, Luke? plus negative four b, since it's y equals mx plus b. So we could write it as plus negative four, but, but then we can kind of just drop that plus. But yes, if you were to write it like that, you would still be correct. Thank you for joining our class today. We hope that you learned a little bit about graphing equations. And let's, let's go Pumas! Go.